All right. Uh, I guess the people watching, um, we rotate hosting and we don't know <laughs> who's hosting today. So we're going to be a little bit more disorganized than usual. Um, but does someone want to share um, the screen? Someone want to share the notes? I'll share it. Thank you. Here we go, Vincent. You are the you are the Stuart. <laughs> we'll just we'll, we'll, I'm we'll still just playing. all yeah. Go ahead, Vincent. I'm still playing catch up. <laughs> okay. No, we, we we can all just kind of follow the agenda and go forward here. So there is an agenda for today. It just uh, looks like there's not necessarily a lot directly um, listed. So we've got. Um, uh, the priority is, well, we need stewards. So we need volunteers for, for stewards. You want to bring op open the steward sheet, Vincent? Yep. It's under, yeah, it's, it's, it's down below. It's, I just saw Under priority that. discussion items. Yeah. Tracking sheet. Oh, yeah. There you go. Let's see what we got. All right, so February and March, I think, is what we're trying to go for. Do we have any any volunteers for February or March? You know, the last, this, this is the end of the February meetings, right? There won't, there isn't <laughs> yeah. one next week, and then we're in March. I'll take February. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was smart. Ryan, Ryan's taken today. <laughs> there will be one more on the 28th, Ryan, just so you know. Oh, oh I'm on vacation. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> really? Bummer. I will do it for February and March. Oh, that was very kind. Not today, because I know what I'm doing. No, I no, we're winning. good. We're, good. <laughs> we're, all, we're all just going to, I think, just follow the agenda. Yeah, sorry, I don't really volunteer for this, the steward part of it, because uh, most of my time is taken up doing a lot of the tickets on the Git, so. Yeah, and I do the live hangout, so I tend not to do this one. In fact, I have to work on tomorrow's agenda. Okay. Yeah, I need to, I need to get more involved, so I am going to do this. All righty, that's awesome. Do you all work with any other individuals whose whose job is is truly marketing, or you know, can you think of anyone in your circle at your companies who would be a good addition here? No pressure to answer now, but just thinking, you know, um, it Those seems I'm I'm new, obviously, but everyone's very very committed across the board to a lot of things. So I've been trying to think of ways to bring other people in and and maybe lighten the load a little bit. Well, it would be good to get community members, right? That aren't necessarily associated with a vendor. Um, okay. So we could put a call out to the Google group um, and say, "Hey, would anyone like to join the marketing calls and extol yeah. the virtues?" of oh, micro profile oh, to the world. I'll That'll take be useful. that on as an action item. Yeah, we could uh, just uh, tweet about it. Tweet, like uh, Stuart Wanty. Like, uh, uh, contributors can come to share the call. Uh, in the past, I think uh, last year, uh, Rastan also came to the, to the like uh, marketing team and uh, he did uh, some uh, like, uh, yeah, chairing the course for some time. Yeah, my only comment is I, I wouldn't go out and request stewards because they have no context right yet necessarily because they don't necessarily attend. So it's building up a pipeline um, probably a little bit down the road after they attend, you know, a, a couple of months of marketing meetings and they get the hang of it. Yeah, I'm trying to so do then, that. <laughs> attend a and, couple it is of very months. much appreciated. Yeah. <laughs> We need more people like Vincent. We need more Vincents. We need to replicate them. <laughs> well, I think it's a good idea to put a call out to the mailing list. So, you know, specifically with marketing, I mean, I work tangentially in marketing, of course, but I'm not a marketer. So mm -hmm. it, it would be useful 
if there was somebody with good domain expertise of a whole bunch of the things that we talk about in terms of demand generation and, and social strategy and whatever else to, to join. Okay, I see you're joining as GSUG and not AJUG, I'm hurt. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm representing both. <laughs> so who's gonna send out the, the post to the group? I'll do it. Let me awesome. I need to write something down because here. You know, I'll, I'll uh here, I'll put it in another screen. How do we record this? Do we record this on the on the agenda here? So typically um I I I, I do it here, like, um, go ahead and um, add yourself, um, tag yourself in the Google Doc, and then we would typically also set up a Git issue. Okay, I'm gonna need help with that because I don't actually know how to do that. To do uh, a Git issue. It's really straightforward, Vince. I can, um... I can show you after, just, you know, send you the link to do it. I, I jumped in and was steward in my first month of being here too. So um, any questions that you have, I'd be happy to, to share some of what I figured out over those, over those months. Okay. Yeah. Uh, John, where do we add this to this document? So I just tag, um, oh, actually, yeah, you can't see so much sharing. Just, just kind of highlight Vincent on the, on the uh, scroll down a little bit. There we go. See how I've highlighted Vincent? No. Under I, I created the bullet under the call to action for your for Oh, I see. Gotcha. Nope, not go up. No. There we go. See where it says number one call to action? Yeah. It's a sub bullet. Right. And now what I what I normally do is just I add a comment. Right. So you highlight the highlight yeah. Vincent, hit the plus, and then yep, add yep. yourself. Yeah. All right. Okay. Then you could add your Gmail address at whoever or plus. Then it'll it'll send you an email. Yep. Got that part. Wasn't sure how we did it. Awesome. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Okay, the next, actually, you're the next you're item. Nicole. <laughs> so, uh, create web page to store compatible implementations, get issue 577. Do we, where are we with this? Um, should we open this doc here? Yeah, that's probably the Git issue, right? Is that a link yeah. to a Git issue? Mm -hmm. No, it's a doc. Uh, okay. Yeah, there's a Git issue. Also, there's a yeah, there's a dog. Uh, so Vincent, if you click on the, if you go back to the minutes again, the five seven seven. Yeah, so that's a link. So basically, it's a kind of the. So this is a kind of the Git issue, and then a media create a Google Doc. A content doc is that what that thing yeah, is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then for the design, I think uh, Ryan is trying to work on. Are, are we at design yet? I don't. I didn't have time to look at the actual content doc. Uh, or did someone? Everyone just throw a bunch of stuff and then hope it becomes a web page. So I think it's a kind of the the picture, uh, people added some ideas. Uh, I think uh, is uh, need a kind of mock up. And then we can discuss. Well, I mean, it's not so easy just to mock it up uh, with random content that's in the, a lot of a lot of content that's in the. Document. A lot, yeah. There's a lot. Uh, yeah, that needs some structuring before I'm gonna put it and start mocking things up most likely. Because well, this good issue is just for 
the compatible implementations, right? And this page yep. is much broader than that. So the goal here, as far as I know, is to create a page page for this. I mean, are we? I don't think we're talking about the whole site here, right? Not for this particular no, issue. This no, this is just for a page. Yeah. Yeah. So something that's linked to in the main menu in the um, for this. Mm -hmm. So let me. Uh, do we have a list of oh. compatible implementations? And you know, I'm guessing we're just going to be showing logos and names of, for this. Correct. Yeah. So so Vincent, can you click here? The, the top of page. So that's give you give us some ideas of how Decatur EE does. In the, in the first, uh, uh, can you see the highlighted here is, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you click on that, that means it. So this is kind of the how Decatur EE shows. So basically it's kind of have a version and then show the logo. Right. Uh, so that we could uh, do something similar, like uh, we have a micro profile five, micro profile photo one, and then can click on that and show the show the logos. Uh, how far back do we want to go? I think it's just a fall back to photo one, because that's and the I first version we have a compatible uh, kind of pro uh, program. Okay. Do we need right, um do we need logo releases from people? Uh, Typically I don't think we need a release for this because we already have releases like they're on the you know home page and stuff like that. So I don't think we we we'd need to release to, to add it to this page. Yeah, so, that's right. We don't need a new release. Uh also at the moment we are running the TC standard as a TCK process. So once that process is in, in place, basically we just take uh, the 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 runtime directly certified against a particular release, and then we add the logo to this website to to the the, the micro profile compatible products website. Okay, uh, if right. we want this page to move forward, all I, I need a list of which ones are compatible for five point and four point one. I think yeah, that's I can. Yeah, I, can I just added that. a link to the wiki page for that. So the the wiki page, so the the uh, I think is not um, kind of the is not a standard uh, place. So the the page that we should use is um, kind of the t new TCK process. So basically, the runtime need to create a kind of CRR CCR against the micro profile. So and then it's kind of the we take that. Can you share that link? If, uh, can we? Yeah, I mean so at the moment, I mean um we'll share it in the talk even. Yeah, let me let me find the link. Let me get, uh, let me put uh, on the chat. Or just put it in the stock. Oh, okay. Let me... So uh, there's uh, some, uh... let me put on the dock. Uh, the link you sent me is just, uh, that you just put in the, chat is just to all the issues so uh, yeah we'll talk straight so if you click on the issues uh, uh, you you can see the micro profile 4.1 compatible implementation oh, yeah. 5.0 a compatible implementation so basically it's a, like um there's a tag a certification actually this is not uh, according to the standard and this record i need to move up to a different um, different place, um, but once the once the, we have the TCK process in place, and uh, we will just move with them. Right. Move so them. we could we could but we could design this page. Um, but it doesn't have it can't really go live until uh, they've gone through TCK, right? Yes. So they need okay. to go through the CCR. 
So for the, yeah, so basically the, the TCK process will be standardized this week. And then after that, um, I will work with uh, like uh, the Payara and then also uh, Wildfly and then ask uh, also Open Liberty, uh, ask them to use a new standard and move the issues across. And then we use a tag and then uh, we know which runtime is certified against or what. And then we use that information for this new website. Okay. Well, how far back do we want to go? Just uh, 401. So you know, only 401 in the first uh, release uh, we introduced as a compatible implementation. Yeah, but, but before then, we've been making compatibility claims, right? And you have, right, Helodon skip four, right? So if I remember. Um, no, no. Uh, they've got three, o, three. But that is not uh, in the, not in the kind of the new, under the working group, though. So if the, we only have the working group for photo, photo O, and then photo O is a market re marketing release. Only photo one is the first uh, release. So we cannot say, okay, uh, we have to have a, a compatible implementation. Well, like I said, we've made compatibility com claims in the past, right? Um, yeah, yeah. Before the working group. All I'm saying is I, I just want to make sure mm -hmm. that um, Tommy Tribe and Oracle don't necessarily feel like they're being, um, I don't know, lack of, not, short change and not meant in a negative way, right? Um, by not having listed compatibility, compatible products. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, but if we're just standardizing the TCK, then they should they should just use, start to use that, right? Well, going yeah. forward. Yeah, going right? forward. But what that means is, um, I don't know what their roadmap plans are for when they'll be five compatible um, or four or five compatible when they have had compatible implementations in the past. Gotcha. So uh, I don't know if they can add it on the call. I heard uh, Halliday is working on the five. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, we're working on five, um, but uh, yeah. So uh, our held on three is um, is all organized around held on five, but I'm sorry, micro profile five, but um, you know, I, I I do recognize the problem, John, that you're talking about. I mm -hmm. you know I it's um uh, I don't know if you want to have a separate sort of legacy compatibility um, tab. Uh, I mean I, I I'm not going to complain if we're not you know because I know I recognize okay. um Hel Helodon is not well, it's um, MP5 or. Uh, for compatible. I wouldn't have thought it'd be a heavy, too heavy a lift because we're talking three tabs at the moment, right? 5.0, 4.1, and legacy. I, I wouldn't call it legacy. I would call it prior releases. All right. Okay. Um, but, oh. but well, yeah. Um, because here, here's the thing we've had, given the rules at the time, compatible releases. And I don't want people to think that MicroProfile um, has only had compatibility beginning last year. Right basically right um that we've had things in place going back to 2016 basically okay so so i, I do want it to be recognized and um that we have had compatible now we could we, we could put a bullet right on the on the page basically saying um you know the implying the rules were different for prior releases as opposed to the actual tck beginning with 4.1 right and yeah this that can be some language around that um um Ryan, is that enough to think about a framework just for a page based off of this using our uh, brand, our brand, our brand guidelines? So, uh, from say when it gets to like seven micro profile seven, and you have multiple new releases, are we going to show all of them, or is um, it going to go? Are we going to only show two, and then it's going to go to like what you said, the legacy? Our releases. That's a good question. Yeah. Because we'll end up with like 30 tabs sooner or later, and that's not something yeah. you really want to fix. Well, why, why not just have the current one and then prior releases? And how are we going to list the prior releases? Is it going to be just a table on that? Just a on that yeah. Why, I mean, sure. Well, that, could, that's going to be an infinitely growing page, though, right? It, that page is going to get very long as we add yeah. more releases. So, so that's my issue with tabs is that scalability is a bit of an issue from user experience. 
Yeah, no. so so keep the tabs to a minimum. Maybe then just two releases, two pre, two current releases or past and current, and then prior. And then if that is a table, then yes, that does grow, but it grows down the page, not across the page. And the good thing about a table is you could you could um, to your point before we had a TCK, you know, you, you can note that in the table. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we could also do tabs on the left, so you know it would just go down. Well, that's uh, that's up to you, you know, from a UX perspective, whatever you think is best there, right? Right. Yeah. So, but, sorry. So yeah, I'm looking, and we've had we we've got the, the current table on the wiki is quite big, um, especially if we want to use logos. Um, it would get like really big, because keep in mind that use text. Okay. Okay. But a logo is on the current one in, in, in prior. And then, okay. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Cause there's like, I don't know, a dozen plus releases that we've had. So then do we need just one, do we need tabs then ready to see more than two? Um, we have a current release and then prior releases. And then that's, um, you know, that's not logos, that's text with links. Like, like on the uh, wiki. The issue, I gotta think about this. Um, it, it does take a while for implementations to appear after the spec is out, mm -hmm. right? And so one thing that may happen is we could have current release and we have one implementation logo. And then, you know, you, you, you go to prior releases and maybe there's five, and then you go to two releases back in the table and you could have 12, right? Or whatever. So it's gonna look, interesting um it, you know on, on on how those pages fill out right well our designer is on the phone yeah <laughs> uh, so so i i think here's the one thing we need to probably bear in mind because the previously is only like in the last year we said established a compatible what the compatible means so previously we didn't uh, I'm not sure how can we freeze that. Like uh, previously, we can we just say okay, I passed the kind of all the TCKs. I based on my standard, I uh, I'm certified. But the the problem is, is uh, we didn't have a certification program previously. So I think we need to uh, some wording towards for the previous releases like. Uh, Prior to 401, or maybe just uh, something like uh, is is this is kind of the support? Maybe instead of saying certified, we said uh, okay, this runtime run support is a particular version of a macro profile. All right, so I, I'm I'm seeing a couple of different um, like action. I'm, I'm trying to turn this into action items, right? So. So one is going to be, um, well, and, and where do we log these? I don't know if we just log them in the meeting minutes um, for now, but but one is going to be um, define page layout. Um, two is going to be document um, or not document, uh, create verbiage that explains current compatibility versus prior release compatibility, right? Um, prior to four, um, those seem to be like the two major AIs. And, and then the third one is make sure we've got an accurate um, perspective of the content, like which implementations right. um, support, which which, release, so, which the wiki should have. So how about, you know, our copy here on the page talks to that. And then potentially there's four tabs or Ryan, if you think LHNAV is better, uh, current release, prior release, um past releases and then pre-tck what's the ptck pre uh pre pre uh pre uh oh pre-tck pre pre sorry yeah pre-compatible yeah pre compatible yeah. yeah. pre-compatible pre pre-compatible we program TCKs. they were just they right. just didn't have the process that went over it all right then pre just it. just pre-compatibility program then maybe yeah yeah, 
in that case, like once we mention compatible, people say, show me, show me the proof. So right. you can log on any proof. Right. Does that sound reasonable? Yeah, I think uh, I think uh, that will cover yeah most of the concerns. Go back to the doc. Cause... So in this case, like a pre-compatible program, so the wiki can serve the purpose. So Ryan can grab information from wiki. And then uh, Ryan can supply some information about um, the compatible kind of program mm -hmm. vendors. Uh, but this still, how are we gonna deal with uh, John's concern about there not being so many uh, impl or, uh, compatibilities in the beginning when you release something like 5.0? Well, we're, we're, we're labeling that as pre-compatibility pre process. No, I mean like 5.0 now, and if you wanted to put it there, uh, but there's not so many right now. Is, is we just going to be showing the first tab pretty much blank for a while? Um, well, what, uh, what, what? It's, it's okay. Yes, yeah. Because it just releases, at least released, at least you have two yeah. in, uh, to start yeah. with. Yeah, this says two to start, and then, the, then uh, 4.1 will there be what? A dozen? Like half a dozen? I think at least a three. And then I think it's uh, MP50 maybe will be four soon. So hopefully Halogen will just, uh, I heard it's going to be close and also Piara coming as well. No, it might just be that that's just the way it is, right? Yeah. That we have one implementation at first, when we first released, that's, you know, the implementation that was used for the, you know, um, Minimum of one implementation, right? So that will probably always be the case. And then we'll just have to be pretty good about adding them over time, I guess. All right. Doesn't Jakarta have the same problem? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and but then... it's, it's been around for, well, I don't want to say it's been around for so much longer because I don't think it has, but um, there's probably a bit more community interest in moving that along. Yeah. Moving what along? Think... Jakarta. Oh, I'm not, not, not quite sure. I agree with that, but um... well, I mean, so so from an OEM perspective, in terms of making sure that you know they're compatible with new releases. I, I, I okay, community interest is wrong. There's the wrong way to phrase that. I think that's is okay. I think it's okay to have a few to start with. This will create a competition. Like I say, oh, okay, they are all down their implementation, we need to hurry up. Yeah, I mean, it, it is what it is. I, I think for, for any new spec release, there will be one for some period of time. You know, maybe it's days, weeks, or a couple of months. Um, and then over time, I guess it should yeah. grow. But I, I think the main thing is if, if we can get Ryan enough to start, you know, a couple of the concept, we can always iterate on that. Um, because I think however we iterate on it, it's not going to be like a complete redesign. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, now this previous, uh, the one that's going to be a table, um, this is in a wiki that's constantly updated? Yeah, that's a wiki is kind of maintained. I think it's maintained at your MP4.0. Uh, so that's pretty much all the, yeah, that's pretty much all the information yeah. you, need, you need. Uh, so you might, I don't know, you might even just want to link to that or bring it in with a, God forbid I ever say this, a, uh, an iframe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, it could, it could work where if you update that doc uh, document, it will update on the site. Um, right. But now what you would have to do that with a JSON or something, because if we say we put it in a Google sheet and want to do it that way and we update it with the JSON, uh, it could possibly work also that way. Are you opposed to using iframes? I mean, iframes fine too. I don't really. Because then why, I mean, that that way you would just, you'd really just dis display in the wiki, which should be the source of truth, right? Yeah, exactly. That, I mean, that no, would work I'm... for me too. It would make it scalable. Yeah. Instead of uh, that's... getting a ticket every couple of weeks. Or, Sca you know, scalable and automated is good. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to throw a little bit of a... <laughs> Uh, a curveball in here, I think. All right. One of the things I like about the wiki <laughs> is that it's not just 
platform spec, it's also individual specs, uh -huh. right? Because there's two reasons for this. Um, one is not all implementations will support the entire platform spec. It'll be some specs, right? Um, another is some specs are standalone by design. And like reactive, I, I think reactive developers, for instance, might want to go look and see who supports the reactive specs, mm -hmm. right? Um, so the standalone specs might kind of have their due as well. So I really like that we also point which implementations in the wiki support which specs. And I don't know what that, what kind of curveball that throws into the web page design, but it def it's definitely a curveball. And do other people think that that's a good idea? Well, if you do that, again, if, let me go to the wiki real quick. I can even still find it. Um, is this the right page? Yeah. No, it is. Then maybe it's just a question of, of tagging it on the wiki. Yeah, keep scrolling down and you'll see the, yeah, actually it's, it's there in the, yeah. Right, implementations there you go. Fault tolerance, yeah. yeah. So, so, I mean, if we're only wanting to display just for display purposes, a certain part of this on that tab, we could just use an anchor tag. Do, do anchor tags work mm -hmm. in iframes? For example, uh, I'm not sure, honestly. If if we uh, just if we're here and this is what we want to display, then is there a way to put an anchor tag to this URL there? Well, yeah, she. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. And the URL is not changing anywhere, so. But it might mean adding an anchor to the wiki page, uh, and then pulling that into the iframe. What do you guys think? Yeah, so I think is uh, adding a link to the wiki is fine. So the other thing what I'm thinking, like uh, even for this compatible program, we only we listed MP5 and uh, perhaps uh, to join the point, maybe we should add uh, like uh, the uh, hyperlink like uh, for the standalone releases. I don't know, probably that will be quite busy like reacting messaging the version. And also context of propagation. Um, I well, think another we, thing. Can, we can talk about uh, the standalone after we have the covered the, the platform releases first. Yeah, I don't think any you know any iteration here. Uh, again, mm -hmm. once we have a framework for this page and yeah. and you know UX that we like, any of this iteration iteration yeah, I can't even say it. Any of this iteration is relatively straightforward. Yeah, maybe get this one down and then we can replicate and maybe we can add more. Or the other thing is, um, the other message, the other thing is the kind of the, after this first one, and then we decide for the wiki, obviously uh, currently have all the information. Like after we have this page, are we going to actively maintain our web page, wiki or that wiki is kind of st stabilized? We will just do update information on the website. But we'll need the wiki for other things, right? So that depends. If it's like a standalone, we create a separate page for the standalone. Probably it's that wiki is going to be retired. If we don't, and then we will need to remind people actively maintain. At the moment, uh, I think it's kind of stopped to maintain. Like uh, the new releases, I have not seen um, like uh, five, but yeah. Like uh, the standalone releases, uh, a lot of them have well, added. Well, so a web page is really, I mean, you could argue that it's just, you know, a, a very visual, a very visual, it's, it's, it's basically the information is in the wiki anyway, right? Mm. So this is just a visual representation of it which is a lot easier for people to consume quickly, I think. You mean the wiki is very quickly? A, a web page would be very, a lot easier to consume yeah, quickly. That's, that's what I'm thinking. So if possible, we, we cannot just make a wiki to retire. And then we, we, prompt, we just uh, keep on working on the website. Well, it depends where the links go to, right? From the logos. Uh, 
from the logos. Yeah. Which logo? Well, I mean, for example, here. So what are we doing here? We're, you know, we, actually, we don't have we don't have any links. They there are no links at all. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they used to be in the old page. Because there's really no information yeah. here other than we should uh what's we should compatible. Really yeah, I think uh, I think this, I think this is a good point. Uh, when we add a logo, we should uh, uh, create a hyperlink. Like at least, like uh, for example, you click on Open Liberty, will directly take you to the Open Liberty website. If you click on any of the sub pages, then you'll get then there there are active links. The I reason they're so. not here is that this is an uh, this is an aggregation of all products right. that are Jocardi compatible. Right. Oh, that's so, an interesting idea, Ed. So, so if you click on Jakarta E9.1, and then you, and then I think you get a live link in, for each of the products. Oh, you're right. It's showing up. And it, it points to the actual compatibility test page, or does it point to? Okay, it points to the actual. This way, product this way, Glass, Glass. Yeah, it oh, looks yeah. like a product page. Yeah. And then there's also a download link. Uh, yeah. Okay. If you go back to the. Oh, it's been a long time. Yeah, there it is. So I like so I what... by the, uh, the by whoever's applying, and then and then um uh and and the, this all becomes uh when they you know when they submit their uh, final certification um application. See they so they in Jakarta you do it's a two step process you submit a compatibility request issue that gets approved and then you agree to the terms of the compatibility um, uh, the, the compatibility trademark license right? right and that's what gets you on this page we don't have Which that we second don't step have here. Yeah. so ed you pointed out something really important here i think in, in that um, the, the the top level compatible implementations page is an aggregation of all the prior releases correct Right, so that gets us out of the, from the marketing perspective, out of the problem of the, you know, the most recent one being first only having one logo. Right. right. That's exactly why it does this. Uh, okay. We have the same okay. problem, Jakarti. Yeah. So that and, makes sense. Does that make sense, Ryan? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so for this one, for if we do a micro compatible product, is the, this is just aggregate for the, 4.1 and 5.0 because the previous release is kind of we haven't established a compatible program can we call them compatible products or not yes because at the time they were compatible even though we didn't have a compatible a program in place i think so I don't, here's the thing. I don't want to confuse the issue on, on, on this like aggregated aggregate page, right? When, when, when someone comes to this page, right? They're going to want to see, you know, which implementations are compatible. If we start having on, on this aggregation page, all these asterisks and, and, you know, um, sub uh, uh, references to complicate things. I don't think it looks good. We can, in, in these sub, pages um like the sorry in the previous uh, releases we can explain things but the top level page i think it'll just confuse the issue mm. uh, i think uh, i think here's a kind of if we say micro compatible pro products at least uh, all the kind of all the runtime since the uh, since them like uh uh, micro profile 1.0, I think uh, probably that's overkill because that's kind of confusing as well. If we say, okay, so that's pretty much you could list all of the decatur uh, like uh, implementation because uh, 1.0 has just have a CDI and JAXRS and JSONP. So I kind of think uh, the compatible products we only list the, um, the runtime from the micro profile photo one uh, and onwards. And the previous ones, uh, I think is kind of, is okay to add a tab with kind of the runtime support. 
uh, micro profile uh, earlier releases. Just a differentiate, uh, like uh, what do we mean by compatible? So you don't agree with the layout they have, the, how they structured it here? Uh, I agree with the layout, but I do not agree with the kind of list uh, everything from the 1.0 onwards, um, aggregate everything from 1.0 onwards and put uh, in the micro profile compatible products. Can you click that for me? It's fine. Uh, Vincent, can you Which, click the Jakarta E compatible products? Just the tab, the tab over. All right. So they just list everything from the beginning? I or think they list everything from the group. Everything, every, every group, every product group that has um, submitted a um, trademark application, has agreed to the trademark. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I like this because it shows it doesn't separate certain companies if there are certain uh, logos or companies that are just behind and will be there soon and, you know, not having an empty page. I think it's good if people want to dive deeper, you're able to through all the versions and other tabs. But this gives you a good overview. Right. So products and then you'd have. 5.4.1. Yep. And then, and then prior the releases. Or prior releases. Yeah. So, yeah. so I think I ran. So the, the, the bigger difference here is uh, Jakarta compatible products. So they have a proof like for Jakarta E8, 9, and 9.1, they all certified against these releases. For micro profile, we only have a certific certification record from 4.1 and 5.0. But, but we've so been saying that we're compatible, like we've been saying a lot longer than 4.1. Uh, yeah, we can say, but it's in quote, we don't have a proof. Or maybe not call it a compatible product, maybe call it a support product. Well, but if it's a compatible page, it would be uh, change the name. So, so what's okay. your concern? You concern like a too few? Well, it's just not scalable. This at least is like a scalable. It gets everyone's like a view of everyone that's been working on it right from the beginning. And then if they want to dive deeper on, you know, the newest version, the version before, you can click and go back. And there's links there. And there's links there. So, yeah. So the thing is, if we say, okay, from 1.0, I'm saying everything probably on this page will go, go to the micro profile compatible products. Because 1.0 in micro profile, just uh, like have the decutter, have the decutter thing, like a Java EE. Hey, hey, everyone, we have uh, we have 10 minutes left. Do, we, do you want to continue this discussion or is there something else we need to get to today? Should this get brought up on the call tomorrow? Um, like more I mean, it's, the marketing side? sure. It's probably a good idea. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. yeah. I just want to be conscious of the time and to see if there's anything else that we need to review here. Um, I'll just finish that. Yeah, I won't be on the call tomorrow. So uh, okay. it's Tuesdays or date night. So right. we'll take notes, but, but I think, uh, you know, if at least we come out of here, Ryan, with a rep, kind of like a reference site yeah, and, um, and some ideas and we can, we will obviously need to pin it down some more, but it gets you starting to, to think about the design and the UX. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. I mean, especially yeah. if we bring in the, the old, the old versions as a table and bring it in through an yeah. iframe or whatever we decide. Well, whatever uh, happens, we'll, we'll probably iterate on that anyway. Yeah, I'm um, not too so, about yeah. getting the layout done. Yeah. You know, okay, cool. Done. All right. Uh, do we want to review any of these um, with the remaining minutes? We have eight minutes. Uh, swag? No. I uh, For Swag, I updated all the print files at least. Uh, for 2021 and for 2022 with new members or lack of, or some members left. Okay. So uh, it's all there, uh, new print files and everything. 
I guess we haven't started a discussion about when to actually do this, right? Not that I know of, no. Is everything wrapped with the 2021 shirts or is there any more action that needs to be taken? Uh, you mean with printing or just the files alone? For with, with the printing. I have no idea. Okay. You might I think, need Amelia yeah, to, to answer th those questions. I think that when we talked about it last briefly, um, we don't want to have inventory, correct? If we can avoid it. Um, that, I think that's for the 2022 shirts. Right. We were talking about placing like a single order, like yeah. a rolling order situation. Well, I mean, there's, there's other ways to have them, you know, print on demand, mm -hmm. which are obviously it's more expensive, but maybe more cost effective because you don't end up with inventory. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That I, I, I don't recall exactly, but it sounded like the consensus was to move forward on that for this year, but we still had the question of, allocating the 2021 budget and making sure that we placed an order that could be distributed that got held up with some back and forth over the design with the clips foundation which seems to have been consult you know figured out the design is is updated and finalized um right. but i don't I'm, I'm not sure looking at the get issues if the order has been updated so that deluxe can just go ahead and print it yet gotcha. um, well let's uh let's revisit that as a uh um a priority discussion item next next time okay sounds good and one last thing i've been working on all of the new visuals for the say social media reminders slash uh push for micro profile so i'm slowly just uh adding new images to each ticket so whoever wants to review those i've seen uh there's been a lot of uh, reviewing and changes for the tweets that would be connected to those. So that's uh, um, when I put a picture there, if anyone or image there, if anyone wants to take a look and say, oh, good, plus one or check. That where's, that, where, where's that issue? Um, uh, it's many issues. So if you go to right. the marketing issues, uh, you'll see like 40 of them. Or, okay. I don't know. I haven't gotten to all of them yet, but yeah. my icon for a sign to <laughs> i really ought to star that repo <laughs> i want to unstar it <laughs> well it stops me asking silly questions that i really should know the answer to so okay <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get a handle on this this is my second call because i promised i would do more last year was tough <laughs> But uh, like I said, if anyone wants to just click around in there and say, yeah, good, or check it, uh, then I'll start scheduling them on uh, okay. on uh, Hootsuite. Okay. All right. All right, Kay, I'll connect with you offline. Um, everyone else? Good call. Give you four minutes back. All right. See Perfect. you all next time. Have a good one. Thanks, everyone. Good. Awesome. Thanks, Thank everyone. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Paul. Bye-bye.